Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to install Raspbian Buster Lite on Raspberry Pi 4B. Before we begin with this tutorial, let me tell you about Boodoos.com. Boodoos.com is a blog focused on technologies and applications which are related to art and design. Feel free to visit it and browse through the articles. The written step to this tutorial can be found here. I will leave the link to the article in the description section of the video. The first thing we need to do is to download the Raspbian Buster Lite image from Raspbian download page. We chose Raspbian Buster Lite in our example because it is least resource heavy amongst the three. In future videos, we will be showing you how to install some open source apps that will help us as artists and designer. We have already downloaded the image on a computer. Next, we need a micro SD card. We are using a SanDisk Extreme 32GB micro SDHC UHS 3 card which we bought from Amazon. I am putting the link in the description if you wish to buy it. A link is also there on the article page. We then put the micro SD card inside the micro SD card reader and plug the reader into the computer. Next, download the Belena Etcher. Choose the correct download option for your operating system. We have already installed the Belena Etcher on our OS. Let us start the program. Click on select image and choose the image or zip. We extracted the zip file which we have downloaded. Click on select target and choose the right micro SD card. Caution! Next step will clean all the data on the card or the media selected. Ensure that you selected the right media. Click on flash button. It will take some time to flash the image onto the card. After the image is flashed, we need to go to the boot partition on the micro SD card. Create an empty file named SSH. SSH would be in all caps. Eject the card, remove the micro SD from the micro SD card reader, put it in the micro SD card slot in Raspberry Pi. Also, plug in the Ethernet cable and power cable to Raspberry Pi. Raspbian Buster Lite would boot up. Next, we need to know the local IP address of our Raspberry Pi. We can use Angry IP Scanner to do that or we can reserve a local IP address for our device in the router setting. The steps varies for different routers. Please see to your router's manual. Next, we open up a terminal if you are on a Windows machine, you can download Git Bash for Windows to use the terminal. The command we need to use will be something as follows. SSH username at the rate local IP address. The default username for Raspberry Pi is Pi. So our command would look like SSH space Pi at the rate the IP address. We will be shown the following message. The default password for Raspbian Buster is Raspberry. Type the password and press enter. After we log in, we need to change the default password to something secure. Enter the following command. You will be asked to enter your current password and then new password two times to double check that you have entered what you wanted. Remember the password you typed in and keep it at a safe place. We will need this a lot in future. Let's update the package list from repository and upgrade the packages first. This is important from the security point of view. Having the packages up to date is must. There is no exception for that. Use the following command to update and upgrade. It will take some time to update and then upgrade. 
reboot your Raspberry Pi, use the following command. After the reboot, we will log in again using SSH. That's it. Our Raspberry Pi with Raspbian Buster Lite is now ready. We may now install any packages we wish.